all chat against age box but oh my gosh right off the back quick rest that uh has definitely happened to me before actually happened to me in the last set i played against buff exact <laughs> exact scenario yeah, Hbox with an early lead it's funny because when Puff is asleep like that from rest on the stage, her eyes are closed. But if you look in the reflection on Fountain's water, her They're eyes are open. They're open, yeah. So a little nerdy, uh, nerdy uh, melee info for you guys at home. That's cool frame data. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Speaking of rest, you know how um, Pichu actually goes to sleep in her crotch and in, in their crotch animation. Yeah, I think you should because Pichu hurts themselves with their electric attacks. I think if you just sit and crouch long enough, it should heal you. That'd be cool, actually. <laughs> oh my god, monstrous box. rest from H box. You spam rest? Oh, you can rest down through a fair right there if you do like kind of mid slide di that really low percent. <laughs> oh, and yep. another one. Yeah, that was rough. That's, That's what rough. happens sometimes with match up. <laughs> that was a minute and twelve seconds. <laughs> That's a tough. That's a toughie. That's a toughie. To, that's a. That I is a. To end this. That's jumping in a cold pool at four in the morning, kind of yeah, kind of shock the, factor. That's the H box ice bucket challenge. <laughs> that was. Hey, I, I'm coining that. Whenever H box just like, just goes ham on rest and just wins a game in a minute. Yeah, that's the H box ice bucket challenge coined by Trey the Trash Man. I, like that. I, I had set the 40 down for about like two hours now since I last. So after that game, it's just I, <laughs> as a Sheik player, I just, you know, I don't know if I need to pour one out for J Flex myself or just Sheik in general, but. That was tough. Pour one, pour one out for your Sheik homies. All right, finds the down smash, a couple hits. Oh, that forward air connecting, surprisingly. <laughs> The hitbox for forward air, if you have a good understanding of Sheik's forward air hitbox, it is so, her because her hand is so low profile, like kind of mm. just thin, wispy models, but that forward air hitbox is so large. And especially as a Sheik player too, the sooner you can stop trying to land your forward airs with where it looks like it's going to hit and where you know that the hitbox is going to be, it'll open up so many more combos because you'll realize in those, some of those sl slight interactions where you're not sure if it'll hit or not you can actually just do the forward air a lot earlier than you realize right it'll still hit I do like j flex using that top platform for a wavelength extension on his hitboxes catch him with the sweet spot of back air and up tilt rest not quite just manages to wriggle out there walks the dog doesn't quite get the top information hit though fly guys getting in the way a little bit but double forward tilt into an up air not too shabby on the damage department shout out to 42nd by the way um, old school puff we were at double 42 but um number synchronicity yeah what happened to 40 second where they've been they were so uh, sick i don't know but... i know they're east coast like tri-state it's been so many people mm. so no many way. good melee players man so many good melee players soft smashbob square pants four percent Dude, four percent! Shout out to Dave. That's my guy. Yeah, Smash Bob was relevant for like six months. Not even gonna lie. Yeah, and like then a he... sick, um, was it DreamHack um Atlanta run? No, it was Momocon. He had an insane Momocon run, and then tried to get into Summit, and then fell off the radar. All I know is that he got top one hundred and then lost to Bowser on the stream, and that was a fun Ooh. set. Ooh. <laughs> Hacker. Hey, Bowser's real good. Bowser's a cool character, y'all. Don't sleep on Bowser. Yeah, Bowser's cool as shit. Otherwise, I'll be talking about you on commentary and. <laughs> Trey gonna find you on unranked and expose you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, J Flex. The ever since the tempo of that first game when J Flex just fared from the ledge, I noticed a lot less. Uh, confidence at the ledge here from JFlex before we're getting a lot of some of these wall jump situations, a lot of these kind of they're more willing to play at the edge around HBox more and try and make something happen, but now they just kind of seem a little scared and timid and HBox has been picking out I don't think he's going to get back, yeah doesn't have the juice to find his way back 
Potential 3-0 could potentially be 6-0ing J-Flex for a tournament victory. H-Box just looking like an absolute wall right now. Yeah, a little, little bit of a little bit of a beast. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's a bit of a monster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just have Tim Robinson skits in my head. <laughs> that that inflection, that yelling. Oh, I I was a real big melee player back then. Oh, just a <laughs> real melee player. <laughs> Back to Yoshi's. Yeah, Definitely the most confidence we've. Loved him. <laughs> yeah, we're it's, we go by that. Oh, wow. yo, we take those. Let's oh, go. Oh. <laughs> we take them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> H box just popped off. I, I felt it. I felt the sound waves reverberate all the way through the Rocky Mountains from Florida. He popped off right there. I know he did. I don't my ground to shook. Up. Yeah, it did. I felt it in my bones. Yo, can someone in chat go check? Because I swear he did. I swear. Don't taunt me, J-Flex! <laughs> oh, I'm sure he did. All right, off the top. So J-Flex, and now with a little stock lead for the first time in the second set. See what they can do with it. Oh, nice damage with those needles. Trying to find a couple more soft hits drifting around. He's letting those forward smashes rip. Yeah, trying to catch J Flex land, but the way J Flex has been using these. All right, th- all right, what's going on here? <laughs> He's ripped like twelve forward smashes. It's stuck. Oh, oh no, no Jigglypuff. Oh, I thought he was gonna taunt there. I would have taunted there. Uh-oh. Oh Uh-oh. my gosh. Oh, that's Lord. That thing. looked like a yeah, missed grab rest to me. That's gonna kill though. Alright. Central yeah, game opportunity here. J Flex on the board. But yeah. that could be a not quite. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what what a man. H Pug's so confident just crouching in front of J Flex's shield. See, in those situations, though, are why I think up smash out of shield against Pup is so good. Because they're expecting you to do something that can get CC'd, etc. But you can do that up smash, and at those percents, it'll ground Pup into a mistech situation. You can get a tech chase off of it. Not So even if it doesn't pop up. I think it's a, definitely a missed. Could help J-Flex out a lot and seal some of these, too. But that'll Ooh, do it for that there. game of J-Flex on the board. 3-1. I mean, 2-1 at the moment. Yeah. So... No six up on it. What that one? Yeah, we we we're on the board. I mean, there was definitely a zero percent SD from Hungrybox stock number one. So definitely a tough situation. You know, basically playing a three to four stock Debatable. match. Yeah. If you're fighting uh, somebody with three hands, wouldn't you be nervous in SD too? That's dude, I would I, be. I, I, have on, I have never. T- I haven't taken a game off of J Flex yet. I will say that much. You know, the three hands pressure. It's too much. Too much for. Too much for a lowly commentator like Hada. Oh, the Dreamland pick. Gonna make all these kills that JFlex has been eking out that much harder to get. And Sheik's survivability does not go up very much on this stage against Puff. Puff doesn't honestly kill Sheik off the blast zone very much. Not because she can't. I mean, unless you count. Rest obviously does kill off the blast zone. That's kind of its own little thing. But it's usually this comes down to edge guards and rests, I feel like. The, um, nine times out of ten. And if I live long enough to where they have to kill me off the side or something, I'm usually pretty happy with that. Yep. Hbox definitely rocking it with the down B. Finds the grab, down throw. Check chase. Oh no, doesn't get the punish. Oh, uh, J Flex. Let's uh let's let's uh, let's relax just a smidgen. To an extent, um, I do honestly think that wall jump fair and wall jumping against Puff is an extremely good edge guard tool against her. The way that she floats down and the way that her aerials coming back to stage are coming underneath her like that ends up working a lot more than you might think. And it lets you, you can just kind of like Sammy stall near ledge over and over. And then as they start floating in, just jump down wall, wall jump fair. A oh, bit. Definitely think. not the safest, but Ooh. I think that against Puff, it's a very real option down a stock here on dreamland definitely a tall order needs 
One more strong hit, strong hit, neutral air, fair, or back air, or up air. Uh, any any aerial move except for down air probably gonna do it. But a rest and a stock trade here. Aerial down B. Aerial down B. Yes. Oh my god, that was so horrifying. Nice swats. Oh, oh sharks. Catching J flex moving between the platforms. So one of your high danger areas. On the platform, you can be kind of safe with things. You're shielding, playing it patiently. But the moving in between them, you're very susceptible to sharking. Oh, just whiffs the grab, and suddenly this is a pretty tough spot for JFlex. Just gonna get juggled here by H-Buck. Still no jump. Will retain his jump. Doesn't get the edge, gets oh. Pretty even in the kill percent scenario. Won't quite kill off the side with that strong hit back air. Oh, will Jay Flex get to confirm off that? They do. And yeah, really even stocks, but 144%. Definitely not equivalent to zero. Especially in this matchup. Take a oh, while to put that percent back on HBox. Right now with neutral air. 50%? You know, that's a way to start. Hey, we're looking for three neutral wins and a down throw up air. That's what we're looking for if you're a JFlex fan. Well, <laughs> none of those yet. Not, but if you're an right. HBox fan, there's the straight back air you're open for. The spacing on HBox is shield, but then the second that, it's almost like a three piece JFlex has in his mind. He's like, I'm going to back air, then turn around, F tilt, down tilt. And if I get an opening, I get an opening. If I don't, then once uh, that pressure is kind of gone, there's no dash back falling anything, and HBox just kind of picked it apart from there. That ooh, I do it. Not quite yet. Not gonna go coast to coast either. Baiting that nair just outside of J Flex's range, but because we'll get back one more time at least. Is this gonna do it though? Flex fighting for this ledge, but eventually HBox is 